after the Holocaust. It's so easy to be angry at the world, and it's so easy to condemn the world, but we have to continue to love the world. We have to. In response to the Holocaust, Rabbi Shlomo Karlbach stressed the power of joy and the ability of every individual to become God's partner in fixing the world. The most important thing today every person has to do is cleanse their hearts from anger. And the only way of getting rid of anger is when you fill your heart with a lot of joy. Karlbach was quite unorthodox for an Orthodox rabbi, giving up the pulpit to spread his message through music. While often at odds with the Jewish establishment, alienated young Jews of the 60s and 70s responded to his universal teachings, and he became known as the rebel rabbi of the Jewish counterculture. Let's teach the whole world to sing the song of Shabbat. In cold Siberia, this is what keeps them warm. They sing the song of Shabbat. It has to be so strong, this Jewishness, that nothing in the world should move them, to un-Jewish them. On the other hand, it has to be completely connected to every, every human being in the world. Shlomo had some way to electrify people and to inspire people. And he felt, you know, you know, one person at a time he could change things. Shlomo Kovac and Richie Havens! <laughs> Shlomo devoted much of his final years to improving the relationship between Jews and others. He was determined that hatred should never be passed on to new generations. He gave this message to both Jews and non-Jews in such places as Israel, Russia, Germany, and Poland. Many Jews, especially Holocaust survivors from Poland, condemned Karlbach for reaching out to the Polish people. They had hatreds towards the Jews. How can you make peace in a situation like that? Especially now we're coming to Poland and, and like uh, we have the privilege of the Polish people look at us. So maybe you can really bring them a little message from heaven that there's hope to the world. Because everybody wants the world to be better. Nobody wants the world the way it is. The only thing is nobody show, shows them a picture of a better world. A can walk around and show them some good pictures. You know, the best picture is the way one human being meets another. That's all there is to it. You know my beautiful friends? I'm the first time in Poland. And I had the sad privilege to be in my Danik. But when I walked away, I was full of hope. So they shot 18,000 at my Danik in one day. Yeah. And, they... and burned them. And burned the bodies. To byli rozbierani, do naga wyprowadzani. I tam są takie na górze, tam jak jest na when I walked the gas chambers, it was clear to me Dawn is breaking I want you to know, beautiful friends Don't ever give up on the world Don't ever give up on any human being Because we all are God's image. Who 
are Polish Jews and we have Polish friends and many of those friends fell in love with Rabbi Karleba. Uh, this is simply because of his message of uh, love and peace and it's not words like you read in a newspaper or statements made by politicians but you feel it. Rabbi Karlbach died in 1994. A year later, his song of peace that he sang at every concert was chosen to honor Pope John Paul II. The Jewish world embraced him after his death. When, when he was alive, he was often pariah, and I don't think anyone could have imagined the kind of impact that his music would continue to have these many years after his death. It's remarkable. This person asked me, what's your message? So I said, my message is nothing you don't know. The only thing is we got to do it. Everybody knows that we never do it. My message is that there's one God, we have one world, we all are brothers and sisters. 